Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every day before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're going to take a look at using a gas pipe as a grounding electrode. So first off, let's establish what a grounding electrode is. A grounding electrode is anything that we're using to establish the earth connection, you know, for our grounding electrode system. An example would be a ground rod, a cold water line. Um, you know, you can use a pipe, a plate electrode, a footing ground. And the question is, can we use a gas pipe? I mean, it's, you know, is, you know, if it's in contact with more than 10 feet of the earth, what's the score here? Are we allowed to use it? And the short answer is no. There's a very short list of things that you're not allowed to use as a grounding electrode. Okay. So with that being said, we find ourselves in 250.528B. Okay. And this is the not permitted for use as a grounding electrode. And there's really only three things that you're not allowed to use. You're not allowed to use a gas pipe. You're not allowed to use aluminum period, doesn't matter what it is, and you're not allowed to use the structure and structural reinforcing steel that's described in 680.26 uh, B1 and B2, which is probably going to be in mobile homes. Uh, no, 680. No, it's going to be actually to do with our pools. So you're not allowed to use a metal gas line. You're not allowed to use anything aluminum, and you are not allowed to use the, the structural steel of a pool as part of your grounding electrode system. So I'm the electrical code coach. Just don't ever do it. There's a very short list of the three things that you're not allowed to use as a grounding electrode. Anything else that is listed there um, in the previously in 250.52 and other parts of 250, you can use all of those things. And it does give you lots of options and different ways to do it. I'm the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it. Hey guys, before we jump off, I hope you guys have a great day. If there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Remember, the only way that you lose is if you quit. Let's get out here, fight the good fight today. Let's get to it.